welcome to ADV with Roscoe. Well, Leah, Bob, and I, we just got back from another great weekend. I want to take a minute while we're cleaning the camper out to tell you about it. It was a great weekend, and it's, it's so easy to go out and have fun. Uh, they don't have to be these grand adventures. We left uh, Thursday after work, which is pretty cool because I got to use some of the lights um, as we we're heading up to Mount Adams. We got past Trout Lake, and it was dark probably was nine o'clock by the time we got there so I got to run all the lights on the truck that was pretty fun on the back roads got to see a little more wildlife that way uh, we found a spot at uh, trailhead number 113 which is Killing Creek Trail on Mount Adams we got up uh, Friday morning and made a nice breakfast of granola and yogurt and fruit we packed our lunch for the day and we headed up uh, Killing Creek Trail CT and from there there's a you take another trail to high camp once you get to high camp there's a really obscure um, I don't even know if it's a trail but we, we headed up higher on the mountain to this base of the glacier where the, a lake was formed and probably a third to a half of the lake was surrounded with snow and it was that great gray um, glacier till kind of color so we had our lunch there. It was a great hike getting there across scree fields and it was fantastic up snow. But we had our lunch there and uh, we decided to get in. Now I've never done anything like that before. So Lee and I both got in and I thought I was gonna be able to swim for a little bit. Don't get me wrong, I knew the water was gonna be cold. But I thought we were gonna be able to swim. I got up, you know, didn't go in under over my head but I started to make a, a stroke I turned around I could not get out of that water fast enough by the time I got out it hurt and I don't think I was in that water for 30 seconds so it was cold it was exciting luckily it was a warm day because I was probably only uncomfortable for a minute by the time I got out and got warmed up so we had our lunch there what a spot so we got back to uh, to the truck we packed it up and we headed to uh, Olali Lake and we went for a swim. What a nice, again, high alpine meadow, uh, pond or lake, whatever you want to call it. We had a nice swim there, really pleasant to kind of rinse off after that hike. We we're hoping to get a camp spot there. That's a first come first serve, but we were too late. So we went back towards uh, Takalak Lake I think that's how it's pronounced, not too far away. And we found a dispersed camp spot there. And we uh, got set up. I went out and picked up some garbage around the, the area. I don't know why people can't pick up their messes. I mean, there was watermelon rind, bottle caps, and toilet paper. And I just don't understand it, but try to leave it better than you found it. So we uh, cleaned up. I did that while Leah got our... Uh, lunch ready i guess more like dinner we have a we did a charcuterie tray meat cheese and olives crackers super simple nice easy no cleanup so we had our lunch our slash dinner we just hung out there but we went to bed pretty early because we were tired from the hike uh we got up so that that was friday we got up saturday morning there and we headed to that tuck clock lake 
where Leah went for a swim. I did not. Probably should have. But the, what a cool lake. If you've never been there, go. It's right at the base of uh, Mount Adams, and the reflection on the water is beautiful. If the water was still, I don't think you'd know the difference between the reflection or the, uh, the mountain itself. It's so fantastic. And she said the water was super pleasant to swim in. So she enjoyed that. Uh, we left there and headed to Mount St. Helens, uh, but tombs up by outside of Cougar. So we did those Saturday, did the lava tubes, um, went up to the Climbers Bivy, did a few little walks around that area, uh, came a little downhill from the, from the Climbers Bivy where I camped before, or at least I picked some huckleberries there. Well, the huckleberries weren't there, so we just camped anyways. We had a charcuterie tray number two for lunch. Again, super easy. Uh, this time we added some tomatoes and mozzarella cheese and the tomato we grew here in the garden so that made it a little special. We had that, we went for walks, we walked out to viewpoints, we hiked around our camp, explored some trails out of camp, and then it was dinner time. So we made these marinated chicken and uh, green peppers and onions. Green peppers came out of our garden so again that was kind of cool. Uh, we had a nice little dinner, played some Uno, which just so everybody knows, I'm borderline professional Uno player, the best in my family. Uh, so we played some Uno. Uh, that was that was fun. Killed some time, and we went to bed early again. Uh, this morning, Sunday morning, we got up, kind of took down camp, uh, cleaned up the area at that camp spot. Also, we headed uh, into Cougar for breakfast, and we stopped at this cafe. Lone Pine Cafe, Mountain Pine, I don't remember the name, but we um, had our breakfast there and came home. Got home, it was probably noon, and now it's time to clean this thing out from another weekend adventure. But I just want to say that you don't have to, and I, I know I like to go east. I like to drive way east, which is a three, four hour drive. You can find an adventure a couple hours around your hometown. We, we were, we were, I guess we were two and a half hours to get to Hot Adams, but super easy. You could do it in any vehicle you want. You don't have to have an overland monster like this thing. And this thing is a beast. I love it. I wouldn't change a thing about it, but you don't have to do this. You could do it in what we did. You could do in any car out there. There was Priuses, there were Subarus, there was whatever. It's very doable. So just get outside, have some fun, enjoy your surroundings. Remember to leave it better than you found it. So, we had a great time. Uh, I like sharing it with you guys. So, thanks for watching. I gotta finish cleaning this thing up, and get ready for the next weekend. Remember everybody, if you don't get outside and get dirty, what are you doing? See you next time. Like, subscribe, share, share. So share, like, subscribe, and share. Everybody, thanks. Going home and getting the devil bed. Not very deep. <laughs> Bob, you're in the way. You did it. That's all we're going to do. Holy <laughs> Kelly Clarkson, that's cool.